if you're wondering what's the weird sound, it's my electric fan. It's really hot. I mean, it's not hot, guys, but... <laughs> anyway, hello everyone! I am Saivi, and today I am back with a ukulele tutorial. But before we get to that video, I would like to say thank you very much for... I am actually beyond thankful because you guys, I reached a thousand subscribers. <laughs> Yay! I'm actually at a thousand, one thousand forty-five subscribers. I'm very, very thankful. Thank you so much for the never, for the, for the never-ending support, you guys. I mean, though I'm not really the best, but I, ha I reached a thousand subscribers. Yay! I'm really, really thankful. Uh, next is one of the reasons why I'm very hyped is because I'm wearing the Kurosano High School Volleyball Club jacket. <laughs> I ordered it from Shopee <laughs> and then it came and then it says ICS guys and when I, when, when I turn back, there's like the embroidery of it. Of Grasno High School Volleyball Club. <laughs> I'm very happy. Anyway, the intro is already a minute. I'm very sorry for a long, long intro, but today we, I will be uh, making a tutorial, or I will be teaching you guys how to play Sophia by Claro in your ukulele. And again, my friends, not actually that, but yeah. Oh God, sorry. It's our car. <laughs> it's our neighbor's car. They might. It feels like they're taking off somewhere. But yeah, my teddy wants to say hi again. And with his friends, he's actually hidden somewhere. So yeah, I'll be teaching you how to play Sophia by Claro and Maria Kalili. And let's get straight to the video. Okay, so this song is. This tutor my tutorials, I would like to like remind, tell you guys beforehand that my videos, my ukulele tutorials are actually based on my renditions of the song. So it's basically from my covers. You get me? So for Sophia, on my cover, I didn't actually put or sing the bridge, the Honey, I don't want it to fade. That part, I didn't sing that because I just didn't sing that. But yeah, so today you will be learning Sophia without the bridge because we're gonna be basing it on my rendition. Okay, that's it. Okay, okay, so you'll be using four chords. The first chord, and mind you guys, this is also the chord progression all throughout the whole song, so listen. I mean, I'm just gonna put it somewhere so you guys would like follow. Okay, so first chord is D minor. So to play D minor, put your pointer in the second string of the first fret so in here your middle finger in the fourth string of the second fret and then your ring finger in the third string of the second fret so it looks like this and it should sound like this next chord that we will be using is a g it's actually very common and this is what it looks like so a pointer at the third string Second of the second fret, uh, your middle finger in the first string of the second fret, and then your ring finger in the uh, second string of the third fret, and it's gonna sound like this. And this that I'm actually at the standard tuning G C A, and the next chord is C. Put your middle finger, your pointer, or your ring finger, whatever's comfortable for you, in the third fret first string and it sounds like this and for the last chord it's an, it's an A minor so you put your middle finger or wh wh whichever is comfortable for your finger you put it in the fourth string of the second fret so my legend is first second third fourth if ever you're confused so yeah this is fourth string second fret Okay, so the chord progression is D minor, G, C, A minor. Okay, let's move to the strumming pattern. Our strumming pattern is down, down, up, up, down, up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. Just like that. <coughs> Let me move some. Okay. Okay. 
getting near here guys so uh you'll be following the strumming pattern once per chord so down down up up down up down slower so you can get you guys can follow so the so the chord <coughs> follow the strumming pattern one per chord so down down up oh I'm gonna go a little bit slower going to be doing all throughout the whole song so in my oh my god my bang song <laughs> um excuse my bangs so for that part uh um yeah we will be <laughs> doing that thing all throughout the whole song for the first verse second verse chorus that's it for the intro too that's actually how it sounds like and since I have, uh, since I like put some stuff in it, there are times that I strum once per chord, and that's what I did exactly for the um, intro. So I strummed once per chord in my cover. You can check it out, guys. I'm just gonna put the link below, but I'm gonna put the thumbnail here. <laughs> anyway, uh, now let's sing it. Okay gonna make you guys feel a little better better okay so my intro is I strummed once per chord but I and I followed the chord progression twice so
So my pattern of how <laughs> I cut my bangs on my own and then it, it, it grew and then it's very unruly. Anyway, so my way of singing Sophia on my cover, as far as I can remember, it was chorus, the verse, the intro, the cor the intro, the chorus, the verse, and then the chorus, and then I played. I followed the strumming pattern and the chord progressions twice because that acted as my ad, ad libs. And then after this, the ad lib, I sang the chorus once again, and then shouldn't feel like a crime. And then my outro is just strumming once per chord now. follow it twice the strumming pattern and the chord progression you do it twice but when you end it it's gonna be and for the second chord progression it's gonna be that's it it's gonna remain for C because if you put a minor it's I, I don't know I kind of feel I don't feel it so I just ended it with a C mm, yeah that's basically it, I guess, because that's how I did it in my cover. <laughs> I'm sorry if I didn't put the, honey, I don't want it to fade, these things that I know get in the way. <laughs> Yo, fun fact, I am a weeb, I watch Haikyuu, my hi is one of my favorite anime, and I have a lot of posters here. Oh, this is... Uh, otako, otaku ni koi wa muzukushi. This is Fire Force, and then both. I, I don't know the Japanese name. Fruits Basket. Kaon. Then uh, Every Garden, Noragami, Noragami, Hyoka, Doctor Stone, and actually, guys. Okay, let's take this. I have a lot more to show you. I'm actually a. That's that's actually my wall. Sorry, I got the video, but <laughs> my wall is actually filled with such anime stuff. Yeah, and for like the wall, for like the- This is like a simple room tour. Basically, my room's really small. But yeah, my walls are like filled with anime stuff. <laughs> Fun fact, I'm a weeb. <laughs> so, I, I just cut it. I, I accidentally quickly clicked the, the, <coughs> the button. I'm sorry. But yeah, I'm a weeb and I hope you guys watch anime too. <laughs> but if you don't, well, it's fine because I totally understand the fact that we all have preferences, but I really love anime. And yeah, I hope you guys learned how to play Sophia in your ukulele. And thank you very much again for 1,045 subscribers. Or maybe more. <laughs> I'm, very, I'm very much welcome for more. <laughs> and also, uh... The only thing left is that if ever you guys feel like lis listening to like music or like some ukulele stuff, you can go and stream my playlist of ukulele covers and just listen to it while you do your chores or do your assignments or something. <laughs> and if you guys also want to learn how to play some songs that I did a cover of it, I might have a ukulele tutorial of it, so you can check it out in my playlist too of ukulele tutorial so i am basically promoting to you my playlists <laughs> so yeah that's basically it i hope you find this tutorial helpful despite the fact that it's very long because i talk a lot and yeah thank you very much for the support and stay safe